Hi and welcome back. This is the LinkedIn Social Media Bite Size Series. This is lesson one on LinkedIn. This will walk you through creating your LinkedIn account as well as optimizing your LinkedIn page to make it look professional and get everything set up for you. So go ahead and go to LinkedIn.com. Go to Join Today. Fill out this information with your first name, last name, your email, and password. Once you do that, it will walk you through and go ahead and sign in to your account that you just created. Gary Grip is my made up name for this account to show you guys from beginning to end how to set this up. So once you sign in, it will take you to this page initially when you haven't set anything up yet. And uh, you're going to go to go to profile, click on add current, add photo. Let's go ahead and add a photo for Gary Grip. Browse your computer for and put in a professional photo that you have. All right, so an example of one would be, uh, let's see, pictures. Okay, you just put something in nice like that. You have a professional photo, upload photo. Make sure you center it. So that's what it's going to look like up above. If you want to zoom it in more on your face, if you want it closer for people to get a better shot, better uh, view of you, close up, you can go ahead and do that. I would recommend just a nice centered shot. Uh, make it pretty close. About right there looks good. Click Save Photo. And that is going to save that in your profile. So if we go back here and go to click on profile again, <clears throat> there is the photo that we just set up. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is add your current position for where you work. If you have your own business, this is where that would go. So uh, Gary Grip Incorporated. If you are, if you work for a large company, they actually most likely will have a LinkedIn company page. So once you start typing in that company name, there will be a drop down that shows up. So if I started, for example, typing in Adidas, you can see that this drop-down has the Adidas company. So all the employees link up to that company page, etc. So that's the page that you would want to do. I'm going to go ahead and change it to Gary Incorporated. Uh, put in your, the website of the business and choose your industry. I'm going to choose animation for him. So title. What is your title there? Is it president? Is it uh, director of marketing? Is it sales? Time period. Time that you've currently worked there. Go ahead and choose that information. The headline of your uh, of the company here. This will be that's fine. Usually that's you know, president at Gary Incorporated is good. It'll automatically populate that. And then put a description of, of the business. Create animations for big time commercials. And then save changes. And then it'll add that to your profile. Okay, so if you wanted to create, if you if you just started your business and you want to create a company page, this is where you do that. You have to have a email account linked to that web address. So that me, that means it would have to be at GaryIncorporated.com. So it would have to be Eric at GaryIncorporated.com, and then it will verify. And you can then create your company profile on LinkedIn. So I recommend doing that. But right now I'm going to skip this part because so we're basically going over... Um, that will be in the next video. We're going to go over mainly setting up the, your personal profile. So let's go back here. Here we go. We've got President at Gary Incorporated. 
You're going to add the company website here. You're going to choose other from here. A lot of people don't know this. They just set it as personal website, company website. I like other because you can actually specify the name. So you can actually put in here Gary Incorporated. Then you can put the URL. And I'll show you why. Let's go ahead and save that and I'll show you why you want to do it that way. See how it says websites? Gary Incorporated. So that looks better than just putting, um, than it's just saying company or business website. It actually has the name of your business. So if you have this set up currently, click edit and do that. If you don't have it set to other and make it a customizable title there, that, that is the name of your website or business, you should do that. Add a Twitter account. Go ahead and add a Twitter account by clicking that and just signing in, putting in your Twitter username and password and allowing the access. There, it's, it's as simple as that. Um, your past positions, go ahead and add those same, same way as we added the business earlier, the president at Gary Incorporated. Same way as that. Uh, let's go see, okay, now your public profile. This is another thing. If you already have LinkedIn set up, you want to go here and make sure that yours isn't a bunch of letters and numbers like this. If it is, click edit. You're going to want to customize your public profile URL up here in the upper right and put it as your name. Okay. It'll check to see, and then you can set the custom URL. Now you might be asking why. Why do that? Well, it looks more professional for one when you have LinkedIn slash Gary Grip. So you can put that on business cards, your email signature. It's not a long stream of letters and numbers to get to your personal LinkedIn account. So you can easily send this out in a tweet or on Facebook to say, hey, let's connect up on LinkedIn. And it just looks better. It's shorter. So we got websites, we got Twitter. You can put in your education. I'd recommend putting as much information as you can because that way you never know who's who's gonna find you. Maybe some someone from that you went to school with may end up finding you on LinkedIn by um, from you putting in your information and them searching by school. Add a summary. Professional experience and goals, go ahead and fill that out, save the changes, and that will um, post that information in there. Uh, let's go see address, I am birthday. It all depends on how much information you want to share. Uh, it's up to you if you want to share your phone. I would recommend just doing your email address. Your email address is let's go see how we look right now on our profile okay let's view profile this is what it will look like to other people that come to your profile okay so now we are in the public mode not the edit mode of LinkedIn okay as you can see we got the website public don't uh, URL there and we're gonna go back to edit you're going to also want to fill out the summary and specialties. So here, fill out the goals. Make sure you do that. I know I mentioned that earlier. Specialties. Go ahead and add the specialties area down here. So we got uh, um, promotion, animation. All right, just add a couple there. And then promoting animation. Save changes. I just want you to see how this will look. So that summary will show up here and here on your profile once that's set up. You can also add applications. So if you have a WordPress based site, those new articles that you write and post on there can will automatic can automatically go to your LinkedIn profile. So you're gonna add an 
add an application, and go ahead and search for WordPress and add that WordPress to your LinkedIn account. Link that up together. And then whenever you write a post, like I said, it will go into your LinkedIn account, which is really cool because then that's less work for you and you're still getting all that information out to the people that you're connected to on LinkedIn. Okay, so we have um, education, ask for recommendations. So if you already have people that you've done business with that haven't uh, done a recommendation for you or testimonial, here's a great way to invite them to do that. And once they do do a recommendation for you, here you can request recommendations right here. But since we're not connected to anybody, because it's a brand new profile, you're going to want to add connections. Okay, in the upper right, add connections. And it will, you can do it through your email, search your email contacts, and you can, it will automatically search for people on LinkedIn to invite them to connect with you on LinkedIn. So that's what I would do. Colleagues, classmates, same thing as you can search and you'll be able to find a lot of people to connect with. Okay, let's view the profile. All right, pretty pretty simple profile here. Like I said, you want to add some applications, the WordPress app, if you have a blog, that, that will automatically be sent over. You want to add your Twitter in here if you have that as well, your Twitter account. Fill out as much information as you can just by following the steps, simply clicking Add. Um, school or add interests, honors, awards. Once you get this going, your completeness will start to gradually grow as you get recommendations, as you connect with people. Another thing here is you can add specific sections. This is a new area where you can add skills. I would go ahead and I would recommend adding a skill section. Add to profile. And you can add a skill, animation, okay, let's see, animation skill. Let's add that one, add another skill, flash, animation. Go ahead and add that. You put the proficiency, are you an expert, beginner, intermediate, advanced, or expert. Let's go here, how many years you've been doing it. Let's go ahead and put that, add skills. You can add as, as many as you'd like. You can add a good deal of skills here. Once you click that, there they are, skills. And you can move these sections if you wanted the skills at the top above the summary, you can easily drag these sections. So when someone views your personal profile, let's go ahead and move it up here for to show you as an example. When someone views your profile, that skills section will be the top section there if you'd like that to, to be that way. Okay. Here's a sample profile of a completely set up, 100%. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of information filled out here. This is my personal profile here with everything going on, title, um, current em employment, where I work, what I do, my Twitter. I got my websites here that are clickable, my Twitter accounts, public profile, see the short, the custom name here, and the summary of work, experience, here is where the WordPress comes in, this is what it will look like when I was talking about that WordPress application, your articles will go directly in here automatically, and when someone clicks, it will go directly to your website with that article right here pretty neat and then here's that skills area I was talking about earlier you can add a reading list books that you're reading currently and then you have your recommendations as those build up more and more you can request recommendations and you can join groups as well on your profile too so if you want to join some groups check out the uh, groups directory go up here and click groups directory and search for groups and join groups that are in your specific industry and interest. That explains uh, the basic LinkedIn setup, setting it up, getting your picture out there, getting 
the applications on filling out as much information as you can like I said you want to do your past employment you want to do your Twitter on here you want to link up so add some skills um, your business obviously and then now in the next video we're gonna get into creating your company LinkedIn profile alright and I'll see you next time on the social media bite-sized series